Parents of two young kids, we wanted to put AI to the test to see if it could help us save time and actually be better parents. We're gonna film a realistic day in our lives and compare it to a day where we collaborate with AI to help us plan. We want to thank Google for sponsoring this video and making this possible. Let's go. Lately, it seems like everyone is talking about AI. And of course, that comes with questions like, is AI good for the world or are people using it for bad? I used to be extremely skeptical about it, but because Matt loves AI so much, Oh man, that's what this was. I came to the conclusion that it's honestly just better to learn and utilize the positive aspects of it. Google is a leader in AI that has been working in this space for over six years. Oh. What most people hear about AI, they think about a talking robot. But there's so much more good that has come from this technology. And Google is all about making a positive impact on the world by using AI responsibly in areas such as sustainability, accessibility, health, and everyday helpfulness. One of the powerful ways that it helps our world that I'm fascinated by is that AI helps people navigate wildfires. You can get alerts in real time about a wildfire near you, which is made possible through Google's satellite imagery and AI models that detect wildfire boundaries and show their location in Google Maps. Last year, Google applied models to more than 30 wildfires in the U.S. and Canada, which helped inform local residents and firefighters. Another way Google AI is helping is through accessibility features, such as sound amplifiers on Android phones. This was built with hearing loss in mind. It uses your phone's microphone to amplify important sounds around you, like voices and filter out the background noise. All you need is an Android and a pair of headphones. This is a helpful way of making audio clear and accessible to everyone. Another feature that you probably already know about and one that we always use is Google Bard. This can help with creativity, productivity, and curiosity with different questions or tips you might wanna ask. So you saw a snippet of our morning, now it's time to film the rest of the day realistically, and then we're gonna compare that to see what our day is like with Google Bard. Let's go! So in the morning, I like to start my day replying to a lot of comments, messages that you guys send to us directly, and really just getting a game plan as to who I need to reach out to, respond to in our emails. I like to do this on my phone because it's just quick and I can get out of the way easier and faster. So when we have help, I also go into my little home office and I like to edit here. Usually we'll do this in the morning and I try to take advantage of as much time as possible by editing the morning away. Whew, so I've been doing a lot of editing, but I am getting super hungry. We don't have a lot of food right now, but my dad came through and he brought some salmon burgers. So I'm going to attempt to make it for the family. Okay, I got four patties. So I think one of the hardest things is trying to figure out food. Uh, thankfully, my parents brought it, but I feel like sometimes I just don't have time to prep food or I have to think about what we're gonna eat. And like, it takes a lot of time to think about like what you're gonna eat sometimes. Um, but yeah, today we're just gonna eat this. Hi, Matt. <laughs> I'm making lunch right now. I think, oh, dang, they can probably see me on the reflection of this. I'm making lunch. It just smells delicious. It doesn't smell like <laughs> Are you okay with salmon burgers? I literally, like my dad came through because I didn't have anything prepared. So here, as you can see, as I said earlier, I was just cooking some salmon burgers, got some toppings, and unfortunately, we don't really get to enjoy lunch together because we just try to, like I said, take advantage of that time. So here I am eating my salmon burger at my desk while I'm editing. Matthew? Are you okay? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> no. What is going on right now? I don't know. <laughs> this is how discombobulated you are today? <laughs> yeah. So I was focusing on knocking these dishes out because I was trying to create more time for later in the day. And once that was finished, I went down to my quote unquote office or the Maddie Cave and started knocking out all of the emails and really just going through our analytics to see how we can improve our content and what you guys will actually love to see from us in the future. 
you like the food? It's actually really good. I like the sauce. Before I ate, I spent 45 minutes doing I don't know what. And then I <laughs> ate, and then I was using my phone. And now I'm taking my son up to get a bath. Are you ready to take your bath, Jerry? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, wow, we love a compliant kid. <laughs> Come on, hold daddy hand, let's go. Maxi, I gotta go walk you. I gotta go take you for a walk, babe. Let's go upstairs. So we put our youngest to bed, and then while Matt puts our oldest to bed, uh, that's when I usually walk the dog, and then I like to clean. And this is after the kids are basically put down, like we try to clean up everything, all the mess that the kids made. Obviously, this tires us out a lot. I haven't vlogged in, <laughs> I haven't vlogged in forever. This feels weird holding the camera like this. But yo, it is nighttime. It's like nine o'clock. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Look, yo, she is out. I am out, yo. And we, we just ate together. Like, that's our alone time. But anyway, <laughs> that was like, like our day. Um, so tomorrow when we wake up, we're gonna see what life is like uh, collaborating with Google Bard. And uh, let's just have some fun with it. Yeah, so sorry, Matt, but I'm tired. I'm going upstairs to bed. <laughs> yeah, I might fall asleep on this couch, so <laughs> we'll see y'all in the morning. Peace. I'm working from home with a three and a one year old. Give me some low effort meal ideas for today smoothie. So we've never made smoothies for breakfast before, so I really wanted to try this at the spinach and chicken and chicken and chicken. So I poured the smoothie into the jars to see how much our sons would drink. And here's the before and here's the after. Youngest loved it and our oldest not so much. We're busy parents working from home with two toddlers. What are some tips to help me spend more time with my kids? I'm all about convenience and just really how can I optimize my time? So setting up this play area for the kids really helps both of us focus on the kids and getting our job done knowing they're in a safe environment. So recently I've been trying to perfect my cooking skills, especially for the kids because, you know, uh, I'm not the really the best cook. But, you know, doing this I really felt confident. This is a grilled cheese sandwich that Google Bar recommended that I should make for the kids with some tomato soup and I was actually shocked that they enjoyed it. We're busy parents working from home with two toddlers. What are some tips to help me spend more quality time with them? What are some independent play activity ideas I can do for my toddlers? So here's some ideas that they gave and it made me think of sensory bins. So I said, give me some sensory bin ideas for a three-year-old and they gave me some water ideas. And I also said, give me some sensory bin ideas for a one-year-old and they also gave some water ideas. So this got me excited because I love to put things together like this. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, so it's the middle of the day and we're trying to get work done. So we got, you know, just roll with the punches. So got some bath toys, rubber ducky, starfish, fish. And this little whale, that's for our one-year-old. And then this one, I just got some sea creatures. And then some scoopers. I'm gonna put water in both of them, but for our three-year-old, I'm gonna put water in ice and tint it blue. So I absolutely love this because it is super easy. I just used materials that I already had and filled it with water and some ice and just put all of it in these two little tubs. And then I carefully brought it outside so that it wasn't messy. And like I said, it was super nice outside. And then yeah, I just plopped it on the grass and we hung out with our kids and sat like right aside them while they sat on a mat and played with the tubs in the grass. But as you can see, so cute, super fun, super simple, but they loved it. So the boys are playing right below us. 
<laughs> and they are going at it with the water. I was thinking, and I realized working from home, I never think about setting intentional time aside to be with the family. Mm. And just something as simple like this, to take a break from work, actually means a lot. Uh, it does a lot for just my mind and it feels good to just watch the kids play. Uh, especially a sensory bin. Like, I was like, what the, I know. the world is a sensory bin? <laughs> I mean, it can be really challenging, you know, being husband and wife and co-workers in a sense. I don't like to call it that, but like in a sense, you know, and working from home and you got two kids and they're young. So <laughs> it's like, you got to get creative sometimes. So this was really helpful to come up with these ideas to really try and see how we can balance it. Because like, even though we technically would like to work all day. Um, it's okay to have disruptions once in a while. Like, yeah. We don't want to just be like, no, we have to work. Like our kids like to be with us and they like to be with an in too, but like we like to be with them. And especially when we don't have help, you got to get creative. I don't know, man. It's just like, I just been cheesing like that entire time, like looking forward to just these small moments of taking a break from my work just to spin with the kids and everything and just and I could tell like the joy in their eyes too of seeing daddy around more yes um and not just in front of the screen just constantly working saying oh not not right now or mm -hmm. waiting later and um it, it's just it's just awesome yeah I saw somewhere that even just 10 minutes a day of really focused in times playing with your kids like and I would say like during the middle of the day like while you're working if you work from home it really helps and like really get into their world and their imagination like we do it with our son like toddlers sometimes and it just does make a difference you can tell that it like boosts the mood google bar was uh was something that i was playing around with for a long time and i reached out to them because i was like yo this is really cool how can i use this more and implement google bar in my life I'm all about just trying new things and experiences, especially making things more manageable in my life. Uh, Cause it's just so much stuff to think about. If there was something that could just help me cut down the time of uh, starting the thinking process, I think it's just amazing. So we spent some more quality time with our kids, Woo! which was wonderful. And then um, actually while we were prepping dinner and everything, we actually decided to clean before the kids went down and have them help us too so that we can reserve the time after they go down to bed to spend some quality time with each other because usually by the end of the night, we're so tired that we just wanna go straight to bed. But by doing this, we actually got some extra time to um, hang out. Woo! <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we were supposed to play a board game and we realized that all of our board games are in Jerry's room. I know, that actually upset me. <laughs> so. But we are going to watch something together because normally we used to, I'm like screaming, the kids are sleeping. We used to clean up after the kids went down and then by that time, because it was a mess, we'd be so tired and we would just literally like go to sleep or something. But um, yeah, we're gonna chill and spend time together. And watch a show. And I got my popcorn. What is that? Popcorn. No. What is spending time like? Oh. <laughs> well, for us tonight, it's watching something. But that's not every night. Like yeah, we really no. do like to do like game boards, game boards, board games. Or we could just play video games. Okay. Oh wow. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really will. Really? Yes. Alright, bet. We about to do that. Okay. And we'll see y'all in the morning <laughs> when we tell y'all how uh what it was like working with Google Bard. So looking back at both of the days, I realized that Working without Google Bard, my mind was like all over the place. I was just picking different things. I'm not really the best at note taking and scheduling my day out this at this exact time. So working with Google Bard, it really helped jumpstart that for me. And I know as I continue to use it, I know I'm gonna find more ways of elevating elements in my life 
to making it more manageable for me to get done. I really like it. I really, I really genuinely like it. Yes, me too. I enjoy a lot of different things like the sensory bins and stuff like that, but I don't think I would have like, like just for Google Bar to help me come up with the idea of what to make like food wise and what activities to do. Then I was like, okay, yeah. So like, like you said, it jump started our day and everything. So it helped it feel more organized and fun. I know the thought of using AI can be intimidating to a lot of people, but I know that this can be a valuable tool to really help improve different areas in your life um, in a positive way. I love it. Google Bard helped come up with this video idea. So we use Google Bard to come up with this video idea. So let us know in the comments what you think, how you're going to use it. We love y'all. Thanks again, Google, for sponsoring this video. And as always, ninjas, I got the slice. I got the slice. <laughs>